So now we'll quickly look at the theory behind this experiment. So the first thing in this experiment is Arduino board. So we'll see what is Arduino board. Arduino board was developed in Italy in year 2005 by two scientists named Massimo Benzi and David Kirtley. So the next thing about Arduino board is that it has Atmel processor. Arduino board is used for programming and whenever we need programming we always need a processor and here we are using Atmel processor. The next thing about Arduino board is that it has open source hardware. And the last thing about Arduino board is that it has accessible and transferable software. So the next big question in your mind would be why Arduino at all? So the answer to this question is that it has open source and extensible software. Extensible software means that the, it has C++ libraries which we can download and import in our program so that we can extend the various applications which we can operate. The next big thing about Arduino board is that it can be run on cross platforms. Cross platforms means we can run it through Windows or Linux or any other operating system. So now the next thing about Arduino board is that this is the really important part of Arduino. It is inexpensive. So everyone can easily access it. So this is why Arduino is really popular. And the last important thing about Arduino is that it has simple programming so that a layman can also work with it. So now coming to the pin description of Arduino board. So we have various pins on Arduino board which are shown here. So we have some power pins. So these are my power pins. Here also these two pins are my power pins. Now we have power pins as reset, 3.3 volt, 5 volt, ground, ground, input voltage. So we have two grounds here and one ground here. So these are my analog pins. So I have six analog pins and I have digital pins over here. So here I have serial pins. These are my serial input output pins which are my transmitting pin and reception pin. After that I have two interrupt pins, interrupt 0 and interrupt 1. These are my interrupt pins. So all these are my digital pins. We'll discuss about these pins in detail in the next experiment. So with experiments we'll get to know more about these pins and we'll get to know about the architecture also. So now so it has the microcontroller unit which is at mega 328. The input output voltage is from 7 to 12 volts. I hope most of you know that the operating voltage is 5 volt. The CPU speed is 16 megahertz. The analog input versus output are 6 versus 0. The digital input output versus pulse width modulated pins are 14 versus 6. Electrically erasable programmable ROM is 1 KB. And after that we have regular USB here. So now I am giving you a link from where you can download Arduino Uno board. The link is given in the description box also. So now the main features about Arduino Uno are the first its code area. So the space where we write code is called code area. Next thing is info panel. As you can see in the picture, the info panel is at the bottom of the screen where I'll get to know about the various errors in the program. So after compilation, I'll get to know where the bugs are. At the info panel, I'll get to know the bugs are there during upload also. So if you upload the code without compiling bugs again come into the info panel. 
next thing is verify through verify as you can see it is present here on the screen and through verify we can verify that our program is running or not after that we have upload through upload we can upload the code directly on the arduino board so the code is now burnt on the arduino board now whenever the arduino board is supplied to the power now it don't require the code again and again whenever it get the power it will work according to the program which is burnt and serial monitor is a window that allows you to send text to and from the arduino so before we begin coding do these settings in your software so first go to the tools then there select board and in that select arduino uno now again go to the tools select serial port and then select com4 so whenever you write a program remember you have to save the file so we have also saved it 